A lot of people, myself included, often find themselves feeling very depressed, even more than usual, at the end of the year. So what I want to do with that is take it and build it to our advantage to make us feel positive emotions. What's up everyone, my name is Matthew Denzali and welcome to the penultimate episode of my daily mental health tip series. Now, quick thing though, before I get started, when you're done watching any video, please be sure to check the link down in the description below for today's reading the smile. Trust me, it's going to put this bright, warm, genuine, heartfelt smile on your face, and I know you, yes, you are going to love it. Plus, your mental health is very important. So isn't it worth giving a shot to the little, seemingly insignificant things that we don't always pay attention to, to be something that can take you out of a negative mood and place you in a positive one? Remember, mental health is very important, so give it a shot, please. Link in the description below. Now, what I want you guys to do, I know today is New Year's Eve, so take that. I want you to sit down and think. Think about all the good things that you've done this year or the good things that have happened to you. Try not to think about the negatives and write a list of the good things you've done and the good things that have happened to you this year. Now, I came up with this exercise last year around the same time because I, around the same time of year, I always have a feeling that people may, my age are doing more successful things than me, apartments, houses, nice cars, all, stu all stuff like that. But when I do that, I often, I am overlooking the good things that I've done this year. Like I've taken nine or 10 classes across two semesters at two different colleges this year and my lowest grade was an A minus. I founded Green Autism. I got a new job that I actually enjoy. Stuff like that, when we think negatively, gets overlooked. So just write down a list of the things that you've done that are good and the good things that have happened to you. You could do two separate lists for that. Try not to write down anything negative that's happened to you or that you feel that you've done this year. Because remember, writing this stuff down, it gives it more power, negativity included. Bottom line, write a list of all the good things you've done this year. All right, thank you guys so much for watching and listening to my ramblings. My name is Matthew Ginzali, and remember, there's always a reason to smile.